Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to replace the coax on my base station antenna. I bought, which I think is probably about the best coax I could use. It has a really low loss and I figured I needed a better coax because I have a hundred feet that go out to the antenna. So let me open the box and show you what I just bought. All right, so here's the box that just came in. And I have a hundred feet. Move this aside. And taking a look at this, this is called LMR 400. And this has a very low loss. And if we can hold it up to the old antenna, you can see it's it's much thicker than uh, I believe this is a hundred feet of I think this is RG8 that I purchased RG8X and like I said this is a uh, LMR 400. What makes this different than say an RG58? Uh, first of all, it has a solid copper core. Uh, the jacket on the outside of this is a PVC. It has a double shield with foil and braid. And then the connectors here, um, from where I bought it, they installed the um, connectors on it and they were hand soldered. And then um, looks like they put some kind of shrink wrap seal on here. To test the cable loss, we're going to use our Nano VNA. I already have it calibrated. I put four markers on it, and these are the numbers we're going to look at. Uh, marker one is for, let me remember, um, 10 meter band. Marker two is 11 meter band. Marker three is 12 meter band, and marker four is the 15 meter band. And I chose those four bands because that's what my A99 antenna is capable of receiving and transmitting on. Though mainly I use the 10, 10, 12 and 15 meter band for my ham radio. But when I do hook up my old President Washington CB, I will be on the 11 meter band. So let me show you how this works. I'm not gonna go through all the calibration and setup, but what you would do, here I have a three foot, let me zoom out here. I have a three foot patch cable here. And what you do is you plug it in the both ends of the Nano VNA. And let's zoom in. And then we can read our readings here. Let's see, let's make sure it's tight. Okay. Okay, there we go, that's better. You gotta make sure it's on tight. All right, so let's zoom in a little. And you can see on the 10 meter band, we have a loss of 0 0.06 on the 11 meter band. Um, 0 0.06, 12 meter band, 0 0.05, and the 15 meter band, 0 0.04. So you can see as, as we go up in frequency, um, the data loss gets a little better. And this cable was... Believe it or not, this is 
old stock I bought of Tandy Radio Shack. It was RG58. And it actually performs better than the modern RG58. In fact, when I was testing this, the results were about double. The DB loss was double what it was on the old Tandy cable. All right. So, let's go ahead and look at, this is RG8X, 15 feet, and let's go ahead and hook this up. Now, the longer cable you go, the longer coax, your data loss is going to be more. So, like I said, this is 15 feet. This is RG8X, which is a good cable. And let's see what we're getting here. Oh, we're getting, uh, there we go. Let's try to get the reflection off of this. Okay, that's a little better. And let's see what we're getting here. Let's zoom in on here. And as you can see, on 10 meter, we're getting a loss of 0.24. Same on 11 meters. Same on 12 meters. And 0.22 day, uh, dBs on 15 meters. Here we have 49.2 feet of RG58X cable again. And you can see as we move our way up, we are in cable length. Here on 10 meters, we're minus, well, 2.39, 2.4. 11 meters is 2.4. 12 meters is 2.36, and 15 meters is 2.31. All right, here we have our RG8X, and we have 100 feet of it, but it's hooked up to the antenna right now. So I'm going to need to go outside, disconnect the coax. We'll test the 100 feet of the RG8X. And then I'm going to show you the difference with the LMR for 400. All right, we got the coax cable down and we have it hooked up. We have 100 feet of RG8X. And looking at our readings, let's make sure we're good and tight here, which we are. All right, for 10 meters, we have 1.89. For 11 meters, we have 2.09. For 12 meters, we have 1.78. And for 15 meters, we have 1.82, which is considerably higher than our new coax that we are going to install. Well, I was over editing my video and I realized I didn't show, I didn't film the testing of the LMR 400 coax. So let's go ahead and look at the results of all my testing. And I do have it in my spreadsheet and I can show you how great this cable performs. So let's go take a look at the data. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the spreadsheet. And these are all the different cables I tested. I tested for the three foot patch cords. And interesting, the Radio Shack or Tandy, my new old stock, outperformed the newer cable that I bought on Amazon. Not quite sure why that happened. But um, I think even the point two and the point two four. I mean, that seems like a lot of DB loss for just a three-foot section. But anyway, after that, we went to the 18-foot sections, and you can see on the different um, bands the data loss. And then I had just bought a newer 15-foot section on Amazon of RG8X, and 
you can see what it performed at. It actually, which is understandable. Well, it was, yeah, quite a bit over half what the 18 foot sections were. And then I had a 49.2 RG8X and it did horrible. As you can see, that had a high dB loss. And then the existing cable I had was the 100 foot RG8X. And with these dB losses here, using my Anytone 6666 Pro 10, uh, 11, 12, and 15 meter band radio, on the 10 meter band, it's assuming you have an SWR of around one. So anyway, um, out of 80 watts, I was only getting 52.2 watts of power. So I had around a 28 watt loss by the time it gets to the antenna from the radio. Now look at the LMR 400, look how well it performed. 0 0.78, 0 0.76, 0 0.74, and 0.69. Hardly any data loss for 100 feet of cable. That's the dB, the, you know, the loss I had. And so that would mean putting in 80 watts from the radio. By the time it reach, reaches the antenna, you're still getting 69.1 watts. So you're only losing around 10.8 watts, which is exceptional really, really good. I'm very pleased with the results of the test here. All right, so you, as you can see from the test results, the LMR 400 is a far superior cable, um, heavy duty construction, solid copper core. It is a bear to work with. Um, it doesn't bend very easy, but once you get it in the shape, it's fine. Um, I had no problems reaching from my shack to the antenna. And like I said, the advantage of it is you get a lot more uh, wattage at the end of the antenna from your radio than you would with um, the other, other coax cables. So highly recommend this. And like I said, my SWR was amazing with this cable. I always struggled with it with the other one. I don't know if it was the cable uh, but this cable, I had to readjust my A99 antenna and the rings were right in the middle where they should be. And I was getting one 1.1 1 .1 SWR. So all is good. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.